Welcome to Trionic 7, the YouTube channel for Saab enthusiasts. I'm Jonathan and I'm sitting here in my 2002 Saab 95 Aero. And today we're going to talk about headlight programming. Before we begin this video, I need to stress that these instructions are for the Swedish market. And if you live somewhere else, be sure to check up on your local laws and regulations on headlights before attempting to modify your car. Your car must also be equipped with fog lights for these instructions to work. Not all Saab 95s are. In short, by following these instructions you will be able to use this setting, which will just give you parking lights and fog lights, or switch to normal low beams without fog lights. A special thing about Swedish law is that you're not allowed to use fog lights and low beams at the same time. Also, this setup will allow us to leave the car and lock it and all the beams will stay off, both in the low beam or the fog light setting. The drawback with these instructions is that you will need the Diagnostic Tech 2 instrument to perform these changes. And the one change you need to do in Tech 2 is that you select the fog light setting to setting 3. In addition to the Tech 2 programming, you will also need to make one minor modification to behind the light switch. So to reach this, you open the fuse panel, you reach inside and you push the light switch out and pull it out. Behind the light switch, you can find the wiring harness. And if you look closely, you will see a pink wire that has been cut. Yes, you'll need to cut one wire to make this modification, but don't worry, you will never need this cable again. When the cutting is done, you just push back the light switch to its position. So why do we even care about this mod? Why do we need to cut cables? Well, I like to run my Saab 95 with just the parking lights and fog lights. And before I mo made this modification, I had to set this switch to the top position and enable the fog lights. This looks good when driving, but you need to remember to turn it to either left or the right position when leaving the car. In this position, your parking lights will stay on and drain your battery. And this happened to me a few times too many. Instead, I can just leave the car in the leftmost position and push the fog light button and it will do everything for me. So with everything done, let me walk you through the possible settings and configurations for the light. So we start with the light switch to the leftmost position and the fog button enabled, pushed in. Again, when I leave the car like this, everything will be turned off, so there's no battery drain. But if we turn on the car, the parking lights and fog lights go on. I think the Saab 95 with fog and parking lights is very pleasing. It gives a great look to the car and also doesn't uh, waste any xenon bulbs. So if it gets dark outside we will just turn this switch. Remember this car does not switch automatically for you so you will need to remember to switch to low beams as soon as it gets darker. So then, this modification allows you to drive around town with awesome looking headlights and never risk draining your battery. I wish I could say this mod was simple. It is as long as you have a Tech 2 tool, but I could never say a mod is simple if you need Tech 2. If you have any questions or if you used this mod and found it useful, just leave a comment and tell us how it worked for you. I am especially interested in information about how this works in other countries than Sweden, so be sure to write back to me. So remember, Tech 2, fog light setting number 3, and then cut a wire behind the light switch. So then, this is the end of today's headlight programming video. A video from Trionic 7, the YouTube channel for Saab enthusiasts. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, Instagram, Google+, etc. See you in the next video. Bye bye.